Hi, Luna Moth here. Um, I am not at home, so I had to borrow a hat. Um, I actually like this one better. Mm. Anyway, when I was at the Getty Museum um, earlier in the week, um, I saw the... Mm, there was... There's a lot of artwork that... Mm, excuse me. Wow. Hold on. There's a lot of artwork that has religious or spiritual tones. There's a few displays at the Getty right now that do, um, but the one in particular that caught my eye was... There's an artist named James Enzer. <clears throat> the, first, the first piece of art was called The Cataclysm, and the year is... 1888. So 188 means earthquake to me. Um, and just the timing of when I saw these paintings and also the titles of them um, was very synchronicitous and a confirmation to me. So um, it's called The Cataclysms. I'm going to post links in the text box below so you can take a look at this art more for yourself. Um, basically, a cataclysm is um, a large-scale and violent event in the natural world, a sudden violent upheaval, especially in a political or social context, a purge. Um, synonyms, disaster, catastrophe, calamity, devastation, holocaust. Upheaval. Apocalypse. Um, mm. Don't know what just happened to my voice. Anyway. It can be a doomsday event. Any catastrophic geological phenomenon, such as a volcanic eruption or earthquake. More generally, any large-scale disaster. So... This etching that he did shows, like, a train going off the tracks, it's on fire, then there's, like, basically a tsunami wave coming in to the scene. Um, the sky is, like, blowing storms at the earth. Um, it's just all these disasters in one scene. Um, okay, the next piece of art was called Leg Above, Leg Below, leg all around. And this made me think of um, like the story of Moses and the plagues that were released on Egypt. Um, a lot of people think of plagues as like disease, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It can just be like hardship, anything that causes like pain. Um, it can be spiritual, it can be physical, it can be emotional. You can be plagued in many different ways. Um, the year on that was 1888 also. And then the last one is The Destroying Angel. Um, it's not about the mushroom. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the mushroom was, was named The Destroying Angel after <laughs> this came out. So... Um, Anyway, there are a lot of references in the Bible and basically all religions of some kind of heavenly being that holds the keys to destruction or can spread destruction over the earth. So, um, that one is interesting because it shows like this figure on a white horse that is in the air with a sword. Um, then there's, like, the city and people below, um, and all of the people either have pants around their ankles or don't have pants on, so they are kind of caught with their pants down, and the year on that was 1889, so it's 188 forwards, it's 988 backwards. Earthquake. 9.0 earthquake. Um, anyway, the artist's name again is James Enzer. Um, he started out doing like regular 
standard artwork and then had kind of like a spiritual awakening and started taking spiritual and religious scenes and kind of melding them into like hit what his modern times were um, and making it kind of current. So I will post links below. Feel free to check it out and leave any comments or I don't know, any dreams or visions in the boxes below.